I guess one positive thing about owning a Chevy Volt is that you really don't get much brake dust. I mean, I just washed the car, but I really didn't have to clean the wheels very much, you know. And of course I got the LT, which is basically the basic model. Um, not very complicated, and that's exactly how I like it. These wheels are, just grab a rag and just, or a washcloth and just wipe it, and it, they're super clean really quick. There's really not much brake dust, and heck, I don't even use the brakes very often because it has regen braking. That's one of the major perks of this car. Basically, you don't really have to deal with braking or the brake pads or anything else like that because after a while, you realize that you don't really use the brakes very often and thus you really need to do an emergency stop. You just use the regen button in the back. And I'll show you real fast. In the back of the steering wheel, there's actually several buttons that, you know, I barely found out about it probably like last time I did a road trip. Uh, one of which is the regen button in the back, which I think a lot of people use. They just keep your finger in the back here, and while you're driving, you just hold down, and basically it triggers the engine braking or the um, regen braking. On the other side, there's actually two interesting buttons here. These are actually volume controls. When I was installing the dash cam underneath the, um, underneath the panels, basically these are two volume controls that control the volumes up and down. I didn't know that. You know, I was basically kind of ranting a bit, you know, when I first owned the car, I was like, hey, why is it only, why is the only controls for volume on the center stack and not on, not on the steering wheel? So basically I found out, hey, there's actually two on, you know, volume up and volume down buttons on the back of the steering wheel. In addition, if you press that um, cancel call button, this actually mutes any audio in the, in the, in the Chevy Volt. If you're playing something, it'll mute it. Um, that's really about it. There's a lot of things I found out about the vote uh, while driving and learning how, you know, other functions is. But overall, it's a pretty awesome, awesome car. Um, I just realized I just got, you know, this week I just realized I just got a little ding from the last road trip. Yeah, this little ding here, a little rock hit it really hard and you can see that there's metal now. It's showing. Uh, so I got some touch of paint and just some, actually I'm using my old Honda touch of paint the same silver color uh, but it's just a little bit of a what quarter inch of a scratch on there I'm so glad the the grill I'm, I have on you know it works and stuff no big deal it looks great still it's a little bit of touch-up paint just to protect it so it won't break any more of a paint I noticed that even washing it, I still can't get rid of some of this fine um, little red dots that these are probably brake dust dots and I was trying to scratch them off it's actually brake dust coming from other cars driving in LA even though I don't drive very fast in LA because you're most of the time you're stuck in traffic at driving at 20 miles per hour um, it is pretty frustrating because you know even though your car doesn't make brake dust other cars brake dust will fly on yours and cause it to have little little you know erosion or little red dots on your car and they're basically just rust, you know, a little piece of the, the metal rust, you know, forming on your paint. Kind of annoying. But let's go ahead and put some touch-up paint on this stuff. I'm just using some Honda silver touch-up paint I have for my other Honda, for my Honda Civic Hybrid. Um, but it's a Chevy Volt, I know, no big deal. I, I want to go to the dealership and get the actual one, but right now I just want her to do this. So shake, 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 shake. I already shook it for about more than a few minutes. So until you can hear the rattling sound. Because there's an agitator in there. Just enough to cover it. I just don't want any more paint to scratch off of it. Uh, oh, come on. Focus. Just a quick dab just to cover it. Now it's almost kind of gone. You can't really see it. Tomorrow we'll go ahead and sand it a little more and put in our layer. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment below. Um, if you have anything else you want to figure out or see, I'm just basically posting stuff that I found out, new things about the Chevy Vote. Just tune in next time. Thanks. Bye.